and he's got such a big following, I'm sure he's going to inspire others. And, you know, being motivational and inspirational when it comes to fitness, again, is a massively important thing. Simon Miller, the board, a hole here. I hope you join in with me now. Let me go see a gig and someone goes, oh, be your master. And then we'll go, master. Be your master. I don't go to gigs anymore in 2020. That changed. I like to think that when we start a new video, you go, and you just copy me and then, I don't know, throw knives at the wall because you've got a picture of my face up there because you secretly hate me. I don't plan this stuff. It just comes out of my brain. Right, so... <laughs> I love it when this happens. This is always the way. It's like a, a mountain collapsing. I had seen the PewDiePie photo. And I was like, well, interesting. There is old PewDiePie. Then Greg Doucette does a video on it. And everyone goes, Mello, what do you think? I want to know what you think. Now, don't get me wrong. I am so humbled by the fact that people have the, the thought to go, I'm going to ask that bald idiot what he thinks about this guy. And I'm always happy to talk about it. Because if you don't watch, what is the point of this channel? It's just me looking into a camera and talking to my mum. Because she's lovely and she always watches, even though she doesn't understand it. So there is actually, the, the reason I actually wanted to get into it, is when I sat down and thought about it, I was like, actually, there is a cool lesson to be learned from this. And as you know, as well as the tips and the tricks and the comedy and the funny stuff, or at least my poor attempt at comedy, motivation and mental health and inspiring and encouragement is massively uh, I think it's one of those crucial things, if not the most crucial thing, when you are going to get in shape. So in case you haven't seen it, bam, there is PewDiePie. Now, I always find it humorous when these kind of things happen because people go, he's on steroids, he's on drugs, he's doing this, he's doing that. It's like, he absolutely is not. I mean, that, it's just a guy who's in pretty decent shape, but it's more than achievable. Um, the other thing I liked is that I think he is wearing uh, wrist straps, which probably means this is him post-pump. So that also would kind of tie into the to the look and feel of things. But ultimately, if you knew what PewDiePie looked like before and you know what he looks like now, you've got to give him all the respect in the world. Uh, he deserves a pat on the back. He deserves your respect. Whatever word you want to use, it takes time and it takes effort and it takes dedication in order to look like that compared to where he was. So I, all those things I just said is exactly my thoughts on PewDiePie. Like, hell yeah, man. And he's got such a big following. I'm sure he's going to inspire others. And, you know, being motivational and inspirational when it comes to fitness, again, is a massively important thing. But the so-called truth, as I've called it, you know, I'm working that YouTube game as hard as possible, is that that is a very well taken picture. And he knows that too. He's on the side so you can see more of his abs. You've got that kind of moody Batman lighting, which makes all your veins pop. As I've just said, he's probably got his pump on. He's probably just finished training, so that's going to help more. And that's okay. That's what Instagram, that's what social media is, to a point. We'll talk about the negative, the dark side in a minute. But that's why people put these things up. Do I ever see a picture of myself looking like a piece of crap and go, I'm going to put that on the internet for everyone to see? No, because all the comments will go like, Miller, you look like a piece of crap. And then you get that one guy that comes and goes, Miller, you should die. And you're like, die? What did I ever do to you? I don't understand what is going on. So you have to remember that when you're on social media, especially when it comes to, especially when it comes to fitness, it is not the real world. Like we did a video on here called I Am Not Jacked referring to this picture. And I stand by it right now. That is me pumped up. That is me, you know, uh, got a bunch of baby oil and whatever you want to call on me. I probably got a little bit of sweat on from doing some push-ups backstage. And there's lighting and there's smoke and it's taken from a very flattering angle, you know. And some people saw that went, well, you're twice the size. Like, no, it's a, it's not a lie, but it is a, um, <laughs> it's like a, it's just not the truth. It's, it's some weird middle ground, but it's important to make you know that because you should not be chasing after, well, look, we all chase after the dangling carrot we can never get, but you shouldn't be chasing after things that don't actually exist. You need to know the truth about this and people need to be transparent, which is the main reason I wanted to do this video. And that's why you can never, ever get sucked in when somebody is trying to sell you a product or trying to sell you some clothing or trying to sell you a supplement on the internet. They're going to go out there and they're going to get people that are not necessarily representative of forms or physiques that you can get into without who the hell knows what, right? It's just true. And they will be shot in well-lit studios and they will be shot again with certain angles and certain cameras and the people will do stuff. It's not going to be somebody walks into a, a, a whatever, takes their top off, twang, because apparently I think cameras go twang because I'm living in 1822. I don't actually know when the cameras were invented. Quick side note, I know you love these. I'm terrified of cameras, like in an impressive way. How do you capture life? Like I get it with a video camera because I move in real life, so it makes sense. But I've never just stood there like this. I, and I'm not, I don't mean the, the technology or the science behind it. I get that. I just mean the fact it's even a thing. Blows my mind. Simon Miller, weirdo 2020. But yeah, when you see one of these pictures and you're like, well, I've done this and I've done that and I listen to all the fitness tips and I can't get there... <laughs> 
it's created in a fictional environment. It just is. One day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pictures of myself, um, one after I've got a pump and one before I've got a pump, and one I'm going to do in front of these lights because these lights are the most unflattering thing ever because they're lighting the green screen. I know, can't believe it, it's a green screen. And then I'm going to take another one where everything is perfect and I will show you the difference. And it may blow your mind. And it works on me too. Of course it is. I have two specific mirrors in my house. One of which is kind of on its, I can't really explain it, but you only have one light source. It's a bizarre thing, one natural light source. And it makes you look awful. It makes it really, really does make you look bad. And there's a mirror, literally, I can walk there in four steps that will make me look like I just dropped 10%, you know, dropped down to like 10, 9, 8% body fat. And how? How is that possible? But again, it's all, it's all perspective and it's all twists and turns and blah, blah, boring, boring, boring. So look, again, PewDiePie actually probably does look quite close to this because he's not super huge or anything like that. But that's what you always have to look out for. If somebody is super huge and they're ripped, maybe just raise a little bit of an eyebrow and question it. It could be genetics. It could be something else. Who knows? But you know, PewDiePie probably does look relatively close to that. But if you met him in person, I don't think you would go, oh my God, PewDiePie. Or you would because you're really excited. You met PewDiePie. You know, most successful guy on YouTube ever. But uh, try not to do it both ways. A, don't get too sucked into it. But do, don't try and fall down the well of negativity where you're like, well, it's steroids and this, this, and that. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But you can only control you and you can only control what you do, right? So no matter how he got there, you make your own decisions and you go on your own fitness journey. And not only is that going to be better for your overall well-being, but you're probably going to enjoy it more as well. It's like way off tangent now. But it's kind of like when you crap all over successful people. There's a lot of crap in this video. But when you crap all over successful people, why not just use them as a template and try and be successful yourself? So if you think PewDiePie looks great there, why not get a great body yourself? But don't worry about what he does. Worry about what you do. And I don't want to get all too hippy trippy, but sometimes just throwing a little bit of positivity in the world does mean it gets returned. And you start playing tennis and you start smashing positivity in shovel and eventually it smacks one of you in the eye and down you go. But again, that sums up life as well. You're not always going to be on your two feet. We have now, <laughs> I don't know, it's like we were going to go to, to the grocery store and, and we wound up at the movies. You know, I didn't think we were coming here, Simon. I'm like, well, sometimes the car just takes control of itself, but it's really, really important. Once again, I want to double down because sometimes when I do videos on PewDiePie, obviously PewDiePie fans uh, watch, which is awesome. Thank you so much. But you know, forget about content, forget about anything else, just solely talking about his physique and his body you do have to give some respect out there. It's really difficult to change your diet, to incorporate a workout routine, to go to the gym for the first time, even if he's still you know, working out of his garage, to take an hour, 90 minutes, two hours of your time that you obviously used to do doing something else, and then say, nope, now this is you know, the point where I lift weights or I do cardio. These are huge shifts that take real mental strength. So I'm going to give him a salute and I'm going to say, well done. I know it means nothing coming from me. I'm just some bald a-hole. That guy always tells me that when I do those should you listen to him videos. He's like, well, why should we listen to you? I'm like, if you watched 3% of my videos, you will 100% hear me go, you shouldn't listen to me either. It's a really good idea. Now I'm going to do that. Simon Miller, should you listen to him and just say no, which is like a paradox, but let's not worry about it. But that's what it is. It's lighting. It's maybe there's a bit of uh, editing going off afterwards. I don't mean like he's leaned himself out, but filters, etc. And I've done that from time to time because we all want to look as good as we can. That's why we're going to the gym in the first place. Before everyone calm down, where did that come from? Right, thank you very much for joining me again. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I do have a Patreon if you want to support me there. I'd massively appreciate it. Even $1 is patreon.com forward slash Simon316. Simon316 on Instagram and Twitter. Merchandise, simon.bigcartel.com. Flex is search, always here. I promise you they're almost back in stock. Otherwise, there should be another video on screen. Click that, stay on the channel should you so wish. Have good Fridays, have good weekends, and you know what? I'll see you soon.